why do you think so many conversations on race just go south and are not productive and helpful, but in some ways even hurtful? Uh, well, Sean, I think, I think we forget that communication is on two levels, not one. Okay. For sure is the content level. Okay, so for me, the content level is critical race theory, Black Lives Matter, right? That's content. But we know from communication theory that if the relational isn't established, people don't care about your content. So we know the relational Mm -hmm. is made up of three areas. It's the amount of compassion between you and me. It's the amount of respect between you and me. And it's the amount of acknowledgement. So I need to ask the question before I get into the race conversation with you, what's our relational level like? Like, like do you view me as a compassionate person? Do, do we respect each other? And do I acknowledge your perspective even if I may ultimately disagree with it? Okay? So if those things aren't in place, Sean, hmm. call me Nostradamus, this conversation is going nowhere. If if the relational hasn't been established first, this is going to be a nightmare. And let's take it out of the apologetic realm, the evangelism realm. We speak at marriage conferences. If a couple comes up to me and says, every time we talk about finances, we get into an argument. Right? What am I going to say, Sean? It's like that old joke. A (laughs) A guy goes to a doctor, says, doctor, every time I raise my arm up, it hurts. The doctor says, don't raise your arm up. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? So if a couple comes up to me and says, every single time we talk about the kid's schedule, we get into an argument, I'm going to say, then stop talking about it okay. until you prepare to have that conversation. Remember my, my master's thesis. It took us six weeks to get to week seven. That's what the book of Proverbs says. A word spoken in the right circumstances is compared to fine jewelry. Sean, most of us don't want to create the circumstances. We just want to step into a situation. I want to share my opinion. I want to set you straight. And then I want to leave the conversation. Mm-hmm. And, and it doesn't, it does not work. If we don't have the relational, I'm supposed to talk about race. So with race, there is a ton of hurt. There is a ton mm-hmm. of backstory. Uh, there's a linguist named... Uh, Bakhtin, who talks about the already spokens of every conversation. So when you step into race, there is a massive history that has to be acknowledged. Uh, we, We have a podcast. It's called the Winsome Conviction Podcast. We do a segment called being brought up to speed. So we've done it on politics. We did it on feminism. We did one on race where the Reverend James White. Do you know James White? Sean? Yeah, I don't know him personally, but I know a lot of his work. Yeah. So we had the Reverend James White on and Sean, he spoke about an America Hmm. that I I have not experienced. That is not my America. He talked, he said, your American dream is my nightmare. Now, listen, we can blow it right there. I step in and deal with content. I immediately step in and start to disagree with his content. And we know from communication theory, that's going to be a disaster. That would be like the people in my study, Sean, disagreeing with the narrative, debating the narrative before they showed they had an emotional contact, uh, a connection with the narrative. So, Sean, you don't run up to a traffic accident, pop your head into the window and see you should have been wearing your seatbelt. <laughs> right? Right, right. That's not, so the first thing I lead with is empathy. The first thing I lead with is sympathy mm. and perspective taking. L- let, me, let me get really honest, okay? We are blowing it with the transgender conversation today. Okay. Sean, 40% of the transgender community has attempted suicide or has committed suicide. So if you're the parent of a trans uh, daughter or son and they are depressed, right? 
And the only thing that can get them out of their depression you've seen is that they're involved in sports, but competing in their preferred gender. And, and you say, oh my gosh, my, my child has smiled for the first time in five months because they're now doing basketball or wrestling or whatever. And then I step in and I do content. I'm like, yeah, 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 but I, I'm, I'm all for banning trans athletes, right? They should not be allowed to compete. If you're the parent, you're like, hey, I've got a depressed daughter and you're wanting to argue about NCAA rules? Now, Sean, I think eventually we get to the NCAA rules, but we start with compassion. We, dude, I can't imagine what it's like to have a depressed daughter who, who has had thoughts of suicide. Where is the compassion of the Christian community that we don't step in and be compassionate first? Right? What does Paul say? Your enemy's hungry. Your first response should be hung, uh, feed them. Hmm. That should be your first response. We step in and we say, oh, no, 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 let's debate uh, being gay or let's debate critical race theory. Let's debate Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. And it's like, dude, did you just bypass the pain that Black Lives Matter has surfaced within the African-American community? Finally, people are listening to us and we jump and say, yeah, well, let me tell you 10 things wrong with Black Lives Matter. See how we're, we're starting with content? when all communication theory is predicated on starting with the relational. Hmm. So I'm make getting sure fired I'm, up, uh, Sean. I'm no, getting I, fired I, up. <laughs> I can tell. I love it. And, and the point I want to make sure the audience is tracking with is you're not making a point about Black Lives Matter. You're not making a point about trans athletes competing in a particular sport. You're talking about how we start responding to somebody with empathy and then we get to the content because policy matters, position matters. We're not ignoring truth. The point is let's begin with understanding so we can have substantive conversations with respect and care. 